Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and welcome back to the Transverse Sudoku Pack, a diagonal Sudoku puzzle pack, mini pack, in the Sudoku Takeout series, which has been put together um, mostly by myself, but with a lot of help by Maggie, my mum, um, and in this pack, there'll be some bonus setters coming. So this puzzle is called Wavefront, um, and this is a diagonal XV pairs puzzle. Um, we've tried to put these in difficulty based on test results. Um, we'll see how we go. I don't remember much about this puzzle at all. Um, it's been a couple of months since I created these and sent them out for testing and everything, and it took a while for the testers to get to them. But, you know, looking forward to giving it a try. Hopefully you are too. Let's have a look. So there'll be a link below to where you can get this puzzle as well as to the entire pack. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Diagonal. On each of the marked diagonals, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. We're not allowed to repeat digits is the rule, but they're nine digits long and we've only got nine digits to work with. And then XV pairs. So digits in cells separated by a V must sum to five. Digits in cells separated by an X must sum to 10. Not all Xs and Vs are necessarily given because the same as um, with most, um, most puzzles, you don't state that not all German whisper lines are given or not all arrows are given. Um, it's perfectly fine. Um, the reason we call it XV pairs rather than just XV is because historically, um, originally when these puzzles came out with X's and V's, all of them were given and then they needed a new thing to de delineate that um, this was a variation. Um, but that's what it means. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this V clue um, is screaming at me because the only ways of doing five um, are with one, four or two, three. You can't use a digit above five. Um, so this has to be a two, three. Um, does that lead to anything else? Yes, it does. It leads to this X clue being forced because on an X clue, you need a digit below five and a digit above uh, a digit above five. You can't put five on an X because it would need to be two fives and you can't put two fives in, in a column. Um, so and if I use two digits above five, then the minimum would be six and seven, which is 13, not 10. So I need to use a digit below five and a digit above five, but the only digit below five is available as one. So this becomes one nine. And this is actually a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. There's no five here. There's no six here. Um, so that's a five, a six or a seven. Not sure what to do with that. Um, can I do any Sudoku? I can see six is in one of those two by Sudoku. I can see six is in one of those two by Sudoku. Right. No, 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 no. This is cool. Okay. So in this column, six can't be here. So six is in one of those two, but I can't put six on this diagonal here and I can't put six on the diagonal here. So six has to be on the diagonal in here, but in this box, six is in one of those two. So that becomes the six. Uh, no, no. And this becomes the seven. Okay. Let's roll that back because I just did a pencil mark error. This becomes the six, which means this is five or seven, but it can't be five. So this is seven and this is the five. That's really nice. Okay, cool. So if this is a six, this isn't the six, this is the six. Okay. Which means six is in one of those two, but it's not there. So this is six and this is four, which means this can't be one, four. This is two, three, which means this can't be two, three, because then I'd have three digits in the column from two, three. So this is a one, four which means four is in one of those two because four is, sees those and the one four sees those. Four is in one of those two. But if this is a four, this would be a one and it can't be. So that's not the four, that's the four. So does this have to be two, three now? Could I go one, four like that? I think I actually might. No, I can't. Four can't be on this V clue because both of the fours there. This is a two, three. So this now this is another one nine because it can't be two eight three seven or four six. This is another one nine. And the nine here gives me the order. This is the one, this is the nine, this is the one, this is the nine. So nine is up here in one of those two by Sudoku. The nine's looking into the box. Nine one might work. Is this restricted? Yes, there must be a one on this because one and one are restricting one from there and there's no one here. So this is a one four and the four is looking up, making that the one and that the four. So now one is up here somewhere. 
So this can't be a nine, because if this is a nine, this would have to be a one. So this is the nine, and there's a one in one of those two, but that can't be the one, or that would have to be a nine, and it can't be. That's... I, I keep saying with my own puzzles, that's really cool, but I set the puzzle and then I come back a month later not remembering the details and go, oh, that's really cool. I'm really happy with this. Um, you can have a little bit of an ego to set puzzles. Um, so one, two, and three can't go on this, but as I've already explained, you need to have a low digit on an X. So this has to be four, six. And the six looks up making that the four and that the six. The four looks down making that the one and that the four. I'm pretty happy with the flow on this one. What can that be? It can't be one, it can't be two, three, it can't be four, it can't be five, it can't be six, and it can't be nine. This is seven or eight, so this is two or three, giving me a two, three pair in the in the box, in the row. This is a row. This thing here is a row. Is this now restricted? I mean, it is. So it's either two, three, or seven, eight, and it's different to that one. But I'm not sure how to use that. So that digit is on this. What are these two digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, and seven. These are five and seven, and the five is looking up, making that the seven and that the five. So this is a pair now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, nine pair. And the nine makes this the eight and this the nine. So in this row, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, and nine. So these are five, seven, and nine. Five, seven, and nine. There's no nine here. So there's a nine in one of those two. Ah, there's no five in either of those. So this is the five, and this is a seven, nine pair. So these are two, three, seven, eight. So that digit is that digit, and must go there? I think this has to be a seven, eight. There's got to be a neater way of doing that, though. But I think that logic would hold. I think those are going to be the same digit, and therefore this has to be a 7, 8, and this has to be a 7, 8, this has to be a 7, 8, and that has to be a 2, 3. But let's see if there's a cleaner way through this. 5 is in one of those two by Sudoku, with a 5 looking down saying that's not a 5, that's a 5. So these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, and 7, and the 1 is looking down, making that the 7, which makes that the 1. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, two and three. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So what am I missing on the diagonal? I've got one. I don't have two, three, five, eight. So these are from two, three, five, eight. Well, that can't be an eight. So this is two, three, five. Eight is in one of those two. So this is two, three, eight. And that's any of them, two, three, five, eight. Don't think that's what I should be looking at. Ah, no, 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 no. We're seven on this diagonal. Seven is off the diagonal here. Seven is off the diagonal here. Seven has to be on the diagonal here. It can't be here because I can't put it on a V clue. Can't put it here because of that seven. That's seven. That's three. That's two. That's three. This now is has to be two eight because of the fact that it can't be one nine four six or three seven. This is two eight, making that seven and that eight. The three looks across, making that the two and that the three. This has to be two eight, and the eight looks across, making that the two, that the eight, that the two. And I was wrong. That didn't have to go there because it could have been a two. I'm glad I didn't use that logic. This doesn't become a two. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. The seven makes this a five and this a seven. Eight says that's not eight. So on the diagonal, that becomes the eight. This is a pair now. One, two, five. And that works for the two, three, five. But this is a triple. Well, where's one in this box? This is the one. I could have just looked at the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three and nine. These are three and nine. 
The two makes this the three and this the two, which makes this the three and this the two, and the three looks up the diagonal, making that the five, which makes that the two, which makes that the five. And right, and the two looks up the diagonal, making that the three and that the two. The diagonals are doing all the work, which is what you'd hope for from a diagonal pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. So these are one, two, three, four, and nine. And the four makes that the nine and that the four. This triple is three, seven, and eight, but there's no three in any of those because there's already got a three in the column. That's the three. The seven, eight is resolved by the eight, making that the seven and that the eight. And now we've got pairs everywhere. This is a two, three. The two makes this the three, which makes this the two. The three looks down, making that the nine and that the three. The nine looks down, making that the seven and that the nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the seven looks up, making that the six and that the seven. The six looks down, saying that's not the six, that's the six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and the five makes that the four and that the five. These are one, four, and eight. There's no eight in those because of the eight already in the row. That's the eight. And I'll use the one to look down to make that the four and that the one. And that is the solution to the puzzle. I'm very happy with that one. That worked really nicely. And the diagonals kept forcing stuff to go around. Don't know why I called it Wavefront. I don't remember. Naming puzzles. I, it's possible I was just watching something like I could um, and while I was um, trying to go through and reset the puzzle and there was a wave on screen or something. It's the sort of thing that happens to me. Um, just coming up with a name. Sometimes I can see a thematic thing in it. Maybe I felt like the digits were just washing over me. I don't know. Um, but I do like giving puzzles names because if you refer to a puzzle by a name, then people have have a chance of remembering it, like particularly in the short period of time or in a really good puzzle for a long period of time. If I turn around to someone and say, oh, my killer puzzle, grid dancing, people who solved that puzzle know what I'm talking about. If I referred to it as killer Sudoku 37, they'd have no idea. Like it wouldn't mean anything to them. Um, so yeah, giving puzzles names, I think is really important, but um, at least it is to me. Um, but uh, yeah, this one worked out well. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>